Well, I guess the stalling is over, so would everybody please rise for Governor Justice? Please. Sit down, sit down, please. <laughs> oh, gosh. Y'all are multiplying. Uh, the temptations would have said, like a snowball rolling down the side of a snow-covered hill, you're growing. And, uh, and that's good stuff. That's good stuff for all of us. But uh, now... You know, I appreciate you holding up here and waiting on me or whatever you're doing, but, uh, but I would say that the reason that I'm late is because I was sitting on the side of the road on the turnpike talking to one of the bonding companies or whatever. I was talking to Fitch, you know, about our up-and-coming bond release that we're going to have, and it's as true as it can be. I was talking to a lady, her name was Marcy, and another lady, the Karen, and then I had, you know, all of our tax people and everybody on the line, and, and as we were sitting there talking and everything, when we got done, I said, well, you really wouldn't believe where I'm at right now. I'm on our turnpike, and I'm sitting with a trooper behind me with his lights on, so I won't get plowed into and everybody that's going by thinks I've been pulled over and I'm getting written up on a ticket. <laughs> so, so, uh, but it's been, it's been good. And it's been good in many ways because of all the great work that you're doing, all the great work that Jimmy Riston and Bird White and our highway department and all the great people that are working there are doing. But, there's real, real moving of the needle in West Virginia. And you know that. You know that really if I'd have walked in here on the day that I walked into office, you would have been a fraction of the size of the number of people that are here today. And that's good. That's really great. Now, are things better? And are things absolutely moving the way we want? You dead gum right. Now, is there lots and lots and lots more to be done? For sure. Today, I think we've got either done or now on the books that have, that's out the door. A billion dollars worth of work. And we're really just getting started. There's more and more and more opportunities for you. There's more and more opportunities of goodness for our roads. We've made a real live, big time commitment to our secondary roads. I think the number is 20,000 miles of improvements. And I, and I, I normally don't look at any of my notes, but uh, just think, it says, it says more than 20,000 miles worth of roads have received some type of maintenance since March. Now, you yeah, imagine that, since March. You know, we could go to California and back five times since March. You know, been pretty nice trips, to tell you the truth. You know, we just passed our second year anniversary for crying out loud, normally it takes two years for the government to figure out how to go to the bathroom. You know, in two years, you think of what you've done. 541 major road projects expanding a combined total of 1,185 miles. It's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable what's going on. We're making life better. We're making our future an opportunity better in every way, shape, form, or fashion. A lot of you are a lot, lot younger than me. But there'll be a legacy of yours that will absolutely ripple through this state for decades and decades and decades to come on the work that you're doing, that you've been a part of. You know, I don't know how in the world it could be more proud 
than to drive your grandkids or your great grandkids or hopefully your great 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 grandkids by and say, I was a part of building that right there. You know, not long ago, I was on Route 99. And some of you may know where that is, but I was on Route 99 going across Bolt Mountain. You know, going across Boone County and Wyoming County and Bolt Mountain. You know, that, that road was cut right out of the mountain on both sides. You know, when I was going across through there, you know what I thought? The guy that was one of the major engineers that was working on that road was Dale Wright. His daughter, Pam, is my executive assistant. Right at the bottom of that road, down when you turn toward Copperston, were my grandparents. You know, that road was built, I think, in the late 60s. But yet, I, my family was remotely with Basilio and Grogan and my dad. We were remotely tied to it. But I was really proud driving across that road. You have a legacy that is going to be unbelievable. We are absolutely going out right now, or very, very soon, on the second go-round, the third go-round of our bonding, and what's going to happen is exactly what happened last time. And that is we're going to have an incredible premium. And if I had my way about it and everything, what we're going to do is we're going to plow it right back into our secondary roads and do more and more and more. We're driving people crazy with the orange barrels. But at the end of the day, there's so many. You wouldn't believe the comments. But I'm having comment after comment, you know, from other states. People saying, gosh, we can't believe it. We can't believe it because it's not this way in our state. You know, our roads are all to pieces in our state. We've never driven on roads like this and everything. You're really doing great stuff. And I commend you and I commend our great Department of Highways and Department of Transportation. You know, we have got a team in place now and it's doing it. So the only thing I can say is I'm proud to be here. Really, really proud to be a West Virginian. Where the idea came from, I'll, uh, I'd like to share this with you and then I'll go. You know, I give all the credit in my life to the good ideas. I give the good Lord all the credit. I'll take the credit for the bad ones, and I have some bad ones. But to be perfectly honest, you know, I was sitting around just thinking. I was saying, and just think through this. You've got a state that's in really bad shape. And this was before I was elected. A state that's really in bad shape. And I don't know what in the world we're going to do. I don't know where we can turn or what we can really do. But some way, somehow, I do believe we're going to have a little bit of a jump back from the standpoint of severance, from the standpoint of gas and the standpoint of coal as well. I could see a little bump coming to the upside on that. This is before I'm elected now, but we got to find a way to create an instant job, an instant job. Yeah, the idea of leveling off, leveling off a place and hoping that somebody's going to come and build a factory there, we'll die before that can happen. That's all there is to it. And then I was driving along and I just, you know, I just thought of this. I said, Wonder how many road jobs are on the books. Wonder how many jobs that there are, are out there. And what would it cost all West Virginians? What would it cost all of us if we let every road job tomorrow? That would create that instant job. That would absolutely put our footprint in the sand to say, this is where West Virginia is going. You see, a great problem that we have in West Virginia has always been our image. It's always been what others on the outside think. And, and to just, let's just be honest again. 
Others on the outside have always looked at West Virginia as dark and dingy and backward and blah, 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 all that stuff. Now you know what they think of us? Now they think we're the diamond in the rough they missed. That's exactly what I wanted them to think of us. And that in itself is driving so much opportunity to us, it's unbelievable. But now let's go back to the idea. What's it going to cost to be able to do that? And I figured up what it was going to cost. And then I figured up how you could go to, to maybe bonding it and doing all this stuff and everything. Something that has never, ever been done in any way. Something that would be so bold as to say, we're going to do something six times bigger than anything has ever been done before. And everybody was afraid to do what's done before. And we did it. We did it. We said, absolutely, as we made our footprint in the sand, we wouldn't have to raise another tax. We could do it. And it's worked. And absolutely, we started. And we started down the path. And all the bad, nasty numbers went away. And so as we go, I, can, again, can never thank you enough. Because you are the superstars. You are the engine. You're the brains. You're absolutely the engine that makes it a reality. And so again, all I can say is thank you for having me. God bless you in every way. Godspeed and be safe in all your endeavors with all the employees that are, you affect in every way. And let's just keep on keeping on because West Virginia is going somewhere. Thank you all.